Hello everybody, Fanthrall here and welcome to the weekly update video for OSRS. Now this week we have Forestry Part 1 uh, feedback changes. So keep in mind they are going to be releasing Forestry in a little bit of different stages. Uh, this way, for uh, there's probably, probably a few reasons really. Uh, but this is the changes for the first one. And there is a change log to go through here. So we'll be going through that. Um, so up first, all players participating in forestry events will now receive the final XP drop and other rewards. Forestry items have been added to the collection log. All untradeable items will unlock automatically in your log if you have already purchased them. Otherwise, purchase any of the items directly from the forestry shop to unlock them. Uh, last week, they introduced a member of, number of hotfixes designed to fix crashing issues. The forestry kit can now be obtained for free with full from the forestry shop. As of today's update, only the funky shaped log and the log basket can be sold back to the forestry shop. Uh, there is also the struggling sapling, which has a few things underneath it. They reduced the overall experience per event by 30%, pulling it closer to the XP gain from rising roots. Final XP drop now scales based on how long the player was participating in the event. The 100% mulch combination now gives roughly two times the XP of the 70% mulch combination. The Leprechaun has a couple. Uh, the Leprechaun will now deposit teak, mahogany, and arctic pine logs as well. Uh, this event will no longer interrupt activities like fletching when it spawns. Rising Roots has won. Uh, they fix an issue where the, uh, eh. they fix an issue where this event was spawning even if the player's shopping did not have a forestry kit. Uh, fix an issue where some tools or oh, some trolls on the Fremenic Isles were dropping noted Arctic pine logs. The ice trolls in the caves, which only drop bones, have been renamed Frenzied Ice Trolls to avoid confusion. Added the forestry kit to the woodcutting skill guide. Updated the messaging uh, displayed when players do not have the required resources to craft forestry items. They added some new themed worlds. So, World 312 DE is group skilling, 313 US West is group skilling, 388 AUS forestry, 398 DE forestry, and 434 US free to play uh, forestry. Other changes are players who die in Bounty Hunter will no longer be assigned uh, new targets for a minute, uh, so they have more time to retrieve dropped items. Players are no longer prevented from moving by making unsuccessful logout or world hop request. Fix an issue where some teleport crystal ops uh, appeared in the free to play. The wise old man and friends will now check your inventory for free space before handing out rewards. And Steam slash mobile clue scrolls obtained from the same location now stack with the loot tracker. Steam mobile, the seed packs now correctly tracked by the loot tracker. Steam mobile again, NPCs without drops have been uh, removed from the loot tracker. And Steam mobile again, Wintertold is now spelled correctly in the loot tracker. So there you go. Uh, PvP Rhoda has moved to period A, so it's 539 US PvP, 548 Germany High Risk PvP, 577 US Free to Play PvP, 559 UK LMS Competitive, and since it's period A, 390 AUS LMS Competitive has been activated with this Rhoda. Might as well just leave it active <laughs> normally. Uh, the PvP arena is the, using the Zerker loadouts for the rank duels and tournaments this week. So there's probably not a whole lot of going on here, except there is some uh, benefits here uh, to discuss feedback and other things. Uh, one of those things is, well, a discussion just on that the feedback. And it's from Mod Zarni and Mod Squid. So do check those out if you. Uh, so wish to do so otherwise that's actually it for today uh, and this week so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time later guys